and in today's episode we can become champions. I don't know if I will be playing the game. Känns riktigt bra. Ja, fan gör du? Du försvann. Five minutes. The coach said to him, "Andy, you're going up on front, and it's time for us to write some history." Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of The Grinding Road. If you're new here, my name is Isak and this is a vlog where I show you the inside of my life as a goalkeeper. And in today's episode, we can become champions, we can win the league and hopefully we will. In today's episode, I will bring you along on our penultimate game. And if we win the game, we win the league and become champions. So hopefully it will be a great episode. However, let's start with some training and game preparation. So we're going to face Chilibu, which we played against, I think it was just after summer. And we won 2-0 and I don't know if I will be playing the game. I don't think I will be starting. As you know, we have another keeper who is one year older than me and he's currently on the bench with the first team. I don't know if he or I will be playing the game. The priority is to win the game and become champion. And it's time for us to write some history.
Aron today we are. Yo Aron. How do you feel about today's match? I also did. No, no, no. It's a very good victory today. Lucas, how do we feel about today? Man, you can't even say English. 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 And a bit later, I'm going to talk about why we celebrated that much for a seventh goal. First of all, I wanted to say it was a great game. We knew we needed a win to become champions, to win the league. And we played very well. So as you saw, I got subbed on. I started on the bench and I got subbed on the last half an hour, 30 minutes. Uh, when, the, when the second half started, the coach told me, Isaac, go and warm up. You're going in and I'm super grateful for that. He told me right when I was going to run out on the pitch that I have played 13 games this year in this series. And of course, I'm going to be on the pitch when we celebrate the victory and become champions. And I'm super grateful for that. When you have played the majority of the game, when you have kept a lot of clean sheets, you want to be on the pitch when the referee blows the whistle. And also big ups to Linus Busset for making a few saves throughout the game and throughout the season. As you know, he's a great keeper and he's one year older than me, playing with the first team or training with the first team. And obviously the games he can play, he's going to play. However, he hasn't been able to play a lot of games this year and that's why I played uh, the majority. And obviously it's thanks to the whole team that we have won the league and kept as many clean sheets as we have. So big up to all of the players. And winning the league is a great summary. 
And now on to the seventh goal of the game. Uh, Eddie is a centre back, a very good one, but he hasn't scored or made an assist uh, this entire season. We were up six goals, so the last five minutes the coach said to him, Eddie, you're going up on front, you're going as a striker. And Eddie was like, no, no, no. And then the coach, uh, and then a player, I can't remember who, said, Eddie, you're going as a strike. You're going up. You're going to make a goal. And then in the last minute, he managed to score. And everyone, including me, ran to Eddie. The bench, me, all the outfield players. So, Eddie, congratulations. And uh, yeah. Matchens lirare idag, Eddie! Kan du beskriva hur ditt första mål i karriären känns? Nej, inte kan jag! Det var ett inlägg från Alvin på Nickan och Botten som var allt. And as I said before the game, we're going to write history and we wrote history. I believe it was a quite long time ago when uh, Haninge had a uh, U19 squad in such a high uh, division. We have been trying to win this uh, league throughout the years and always tripped on the goal line. So next year we're going to play the youth Superettan for under 19 squads, which will be the second highest tier of Swedish football for yeah, under 19 squads. Although we are champions, we aren't done yet. There's still another game, which means another opportunity to keep another clean sheet and uh, hopefully it will be a great game which means we can go out and train on new things so hopefully the last game of the season will be a great one and that's about it for today's week's episode if you enjoyed it hit the like or hit it anyway because we won the league and if you don't want to miss future episodes hit the subscribe button work smart grind hard and achieve success. Now I'm going to head out and do a bit of training. I'll speak with you in the next episode. Have a great week guys.